If you are helping someone put on a brief while standing, start by positioning them directly in front of the toilet. It's best to allow them to steady themselves with the use of a stationary grab bar. Start by removing any pants or clothing that may be covering the brief so that you can then remove the soiled brief. Remember to always use protective gloves when changing any incontinence products. Carefully release the Easy Lock fastening tabs. and pull the brief straight down. Fold and roll the brief up and place in a closed plastic bag and dispose in a trash can. Disposable incontinence products should never be flushed in the toilet. This is also a good time to allow the person to sit and try to use the bathroom while the brief is off. You are now ready to apply a new clean brief. When the person is done toileting, assist them again to the standing position and prepare the new brief for application. The Easy Lock fasteners should be in the back. Start by holding the brief in position on their back. Thread between the legs and pull up tight to the abdomen. Spread the front of the brief across the abdomen. Gently press down and pull back on the tabs to activate. And attach the Easy Lock fasteners in place. Once you have the fasteners in place, you can adjust and readjust as many times as needed for a secure fit or for toileting. The brief should be up very close to the body and not sagging. Make sure the fit is snug but not tight. The elastics should be on the natural creases of the legs, and you want to make sure that the elastics are pulled out and not tucked in. To help someone put on a brief in a sitting position, start by spreading the brief on a chair or on a closed toilet with the fastening strips to the back. Ask the person to sit down carefully on the brief, making sure to provide assistance to avoid injury or a fall. Pull the brief up and secure against the back. Then pull the brief up firmly between the legs and tight across the abdomen. Spread across the abdomen and attach the Easy Lock fasteners on both sides and adjust as needed. Press down and then pull back on the strips to make sure they are activated. Adjust any clothing and then help the person again to the standing position. Adjust the tabs as necessary for a secure and comfortable fit. The elastics should be on the natural creases of the legs, and you want to make sure that the elastics are pulled out and not tucked in. Changing a brief on someone while they're in bed will involve rolling the person back and forth. The first step is to remove the bed coverings as much as possible. Make sure all clothing is out of the way and will not come in contact with the soiled brief. It's a good idea to always wear gloves when handling any soiled incontinence products for your protection. Begin by unfastening the tabs on both sides of the brief while the person is on their back. Pull the front flap down between the legs. Then roll the person to one side to remove. Roll up the used product onto itself and dispose in a closed plastic bag. Disposable incontinence products should never be flushed in the toilet. Now you are ready to apply a new clean brief. With the person rolled away from you, place the brief open on the bed. With a top fastening strip at the top of the hip, tuck the brief in as much as possible under the hip. Then roll the person onto their back and open up the Easy Lock fastening strips. 
pull through the legs and bring up over the abdomen. Stretch the front of the brief across the abdomen and attach the easy lock fastening strips on each side. The brief should be very close to the body and snug but not tight. The fastening tabs will attach anywhere on the outer brief and release and reattach as many times as needed for a custom fit or for toileting. Make sure the tabs are activated by pressing down firmly and then pulling back. The elastics should be on the natural creases of the legs and you want to make sure that they are pulled out and not tucked in.